Hey guys, happy Inktober, I guess. If you're doing it, I'm not, but I'm trying to produce a little more content than usual. And I've seen a lot of people showing interest in animation, especially beginners. So today we're gonna do something on After Effects. I'm gonna show you how keyframes work and also how to make this bear uh, from scratch in After Effects and moving it using uh, path animation without any plugins. Okay, so first the body is a drawn shape using the pen tool, a shortcut G. The ears are a basic stroke with a round cap. To do that, expand your stroke layer, then contents, stroke, and line cap to set to round cap so it doesn't end in a square shape. Select the layer and command or control D on PC to duplicate it and reposition it so you don't have to draw it twice. The eyes are two rounded rectangles and the nose is a custom shape. To color a shape with a gradient, click fill on the word, not the color sample. Click the gradient icon and you'll get two handles representing the two ending points of your gradient. The arms are made the same way as the ears except that we need an additional point in the middle that will be curved, that will be uh, the elbow because we're going to move it that way. And to do that, it works exactly the same as Illustrator. You're gonna need to mouse down, drag, and mouse up. So the middle point will be curved and not just a straight point. Uh, the bear is now ready for animation. We are going to select the right arm and we're gonna need to set two parameters in time to animate it. We're gonna need to uh, keyframe path and keyframe gradient, uh, both ending points. By placing a keyframe, you're defining a stay in time. So the three points making the arm as are precisely what they are where the keyframe is located. So if you move a point, so if you're somewhere else on a timeline and you move a point of your path, it's gonna automatically create a new keyframe because he knows that you've changed the value of uh, the parameters of the shape you're working on. And if a two keyframe movement is not enough, so it doesn't look good enough, like it's the case right here, we're actually having a very specific movement. Uh, the bear is like this, the arm is moving inward and then is moving outwards. So we need a point A in time, let's use letters, have a point A, a point B, and point C. If you want to see all the keyframes of a layer or multiple layers, so just the parameter that has keyframes applied on it, you just have to select the layers uh, that you want and hit the U key and you just see keyframes, nothing else. You don't have to expand the entire thing. So I moved a few more things on the bear um, after doing this, as you can probably see, but it, it works exactly the same. Once you get how keyframes work, you can really make anything move and anything act the way you want. You're just gonna struggle a little bit because After Effects is not the easiest software to get into, but you, you just get it with a little bit of practice. Sorry, this video is a little longer than usual. I should probably live stream animation because there's just so much that needs to be said about it. But I just wanted to make a little introduction video just so you have an overall understanding of how After Effects works. I hope you enjoy this and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section as usual. Um, I will see you next time.